Hey everybody, Mike Steele here with Barbecue Champs Academy. We are so excited to be with everybody tonight. It was three years ago at 7 o'clock that we launched Barbecue Champs Academy on Facebook. It went viral across the internet waves over that night and that whole weekend. We had an absolute blast uh, watching that happen. So many people were sharing uh, the video that we had came out with, talking about all of our barbecue pit masters and steak grill masters we had. Uh, and it has truly been an honor uh, to have so many folks buy uh, our classes from our barbecue and steak guys and gals. Don't want to forget Marissa and Shauna. Uh, truly has meant a, a tremendous amount to us over uh, the last three years. And uh, we got some exciting things coming. We are still trying to get Mark Lambert's uh, whole hog class done. We tried early this year to do that. We just couldn't get the scheduling down. But the good news is we got a lot of time to get it done between now and next year. So um, anyway, we really do appreciate everybody. We are going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to have some trivia questions uh, at the end of the show. And uh, it's we're going to give away some uh, free barbecue classes and the steak class uh, and a backyard barbecue class. So it looks like we've got about four classes that we're going to give out. Be absolutely free to you guys. Our way of saying thank you. We have got a full lineup star studded of some of the best barbecue and steak cookers in the business i thought it was really cool to have what do we got eight people on barbecue champs tonight from our barbecue pit masters and uh, we are really really looking forward to it so we're going to give everybody just a few minutes to come in i uh, certainly could not go without thanking everybody being here gordon always thank you for being here certainly great to have you and brenda on the show last week uh, Jason, thank you for being here. Cassie, thank you for being here. Paul, appreciate it as well. Trump my rump. I know who that is. Thank you, Caitlin, for being here. Appreciate it. John, thank you for showing up tonight. Hope you enjoy our show. We got a big one lined up. Uh, Paul, appreciate it. Happy anniversary. Yes, thank you, sir. It's been 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 waiting on it. We, we saw it coming down. And I was like, man, I, I think it's going to fall on the perfect day. I looked. I saw it was on a Tuesday, and I was like, ah, this is going to be great to be able to do our podcast and talk about our three-year anniversary. Uh, Merv, appreciate you being here. Kevin, thank you being here as well. Congratulations, three years. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Who else we got? Paul, good evening. Uh, Big Mike and all you champs. Yeah, we got a star-studded lineup tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's see. Wesley, evening, Mike and everyone. Normally, I watch the recast on YouTube and I'm driving to work, but wouldn't miss this one live for the world. Well, thank you, Wesley. We appreciate it so much. Uh, that you take the time to be here with us. We've got quite a few folks on and got more folks coming in. So I'm just giving everybody a few minutes because I got a few announcements that we do want to make. Uh, Sean, thank you for being here. Justin, appreciate you being here. Congrats on three years. Thanks for letting us all interact with these great cooks and world champs. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty cool. Never had this many people on here at one time. So if y'all have questions for them, man, y'all fire away because that's what tonight's going to be about. Steve, thank you for being here. No, I was going to miss this epic show. Thank you, sir. Candace, thank you for being here. Looking forward to the show. Appreciate it. Uh, Rick Manzi, uh, how are you doing, sir? Good talking to you today. Yep, and we do appreciate uh, the congrats. Got Mr. Ronald Burns, Mr. Hotty Toddy himself. Ronald, I heard you was a little bit under the weather when you got up there at the competition in Washington, D.C. Got a little food poisoning, but I hope that you're doing better. And uh, man, John and Rick absolutely killed it up there. So congratulations. Uh, Travis, thank you for being here. Uh, let's see. Awesome. Fingers crossed for a class. Yep. We hope you got it. Everybody's going to have a chance. We got a free class that we're actually, we got four classes that we're going to be giving away tonight. Uh, Raz, appreciate you being here down in Louisiana next week. I'll tell you what, dress cool because it has been smoking hot. Uh, Toby, appreciate you being here. Seth, appreciate you being here. Man, we got a lot of folks on here. Danny, thank you for being here. PJ, thank you for being here. BJ, not PJ. Jeff, thanks for being here tonight. Uh, enjoyed the last three years. Appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, Seth, thank you once again. Appreciate it. James, let's see. Good evening. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you being here. Uh, there's uh, Terry's partner in crime. Lane, appreciate you being here tonight, sir. Uh, Chad, thank you for being here, sir. Always great to have you, everybody, joining us. Uh, Garth, thank you for being here. Pat, we appreciate it. Brandon, man, I tell you what, we appreciate you so much. We always can count on you and Caitlin being here. You have definitely changed the barbecue and steak game. Love my barbecue champ classes. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. It means a lot to us. Uh, let's see. Bradley, thank you for being here. Brandon, thank you once again. Uh, James, James, I tell you what, man, you ran into a sawmill 
this past weekend. Uh, congratulations to Benny Coger. Pulled the hat trick off there in Wichita Falls. First place, first place, and first place in brisket, ribs, and chicken. Huge congratulations uh, to Benny. And he was going up against some tough cooks. That guy right there is awesome. Him and Erica was double uh, teaming up double. And uh, I think they finished third or fourth overall. I can't remember, but I know they did good. But Benny just had too much for him that day. Uh, Sean, thank you. Appreciate it so much. Uh, yeah, y'all are all going to look like the Brady Bunch on the screen. This is going to be epic. <laughs> well, I had them all on there just a minute ago, and that's exactly what I was thinking. Uh, Bo, thank you for being here. Veryl, thank you for being here. Chris, appreciate it. Man, we just got so many people, 71 folks uh, that are already on. And um, congrats from Roadkill Barbecue in Kansas City. James, thank you for being here. I don't know if I've seen you on here before. Uh, Stephanie, thank you for being here. Jeremy, we appreciate you. Always count on you being here. John, thank you so much. Uh, after this weekend, when will your barbecue class premiere, brother? <laughs> so, not me. Uh, we got Craig. We got Jeremy. We got Ron. Uh, we got Joseph. Thank you for being here. David, appreciate it, man. Thank you. We're going to try to put together a Manufacturer Midway podcast where we have Gunnar Wilhelm, Texas Select Seasoning, Danny uh, with Be Extreme Barbecue, Gail with uh, Daigle's uh, Sauces and Glazes. Uh, we're going to try to have Dustin Stanley on here. Uh, we're also going to try to have um, Danny Helm on here. And I'm working to try to get somebody from Prairie Fresh being on here, where it's all the people that sponsor our show. It's really cool to have all these people on at one time. We can ask them a lot of questions. You can find out a lot of information uh, about their product. So... Speaking of Mr. Danny, he's on here tonight, as well as Craig. Richard, thank you for being here. Paul, appreciate you being here. Brian, thanks a lot. Rod, appreciate you being here. Man, we just got folks steadily pouring in. So uh, I really do appreciate everybody. Luke, thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Happy anniversary all the way from Green Bay. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Uh, the classes don't hurt a bit. Eight calls, 13 stakes. That's, I'd say that's pretty dead gum good. Uh, we're looking forward to this show tonight. We really do want to thank everybody for being here once again. We've got 75 folks in here. So look, I want to go ahead and make this announcement real quick. This is kind of about the peak of what we've got. And then we're going to start bringing everybody in. Uh, but we have got a couple announcements to make. Uh, we will be giving away uh, some classes at the very end. Uh, we're going to have some trivia questions now. And we're going to do this toward the end. Uh, we're going to give away, Joey's going to give away a barbecue class. David Bosca's going to give away a barbecue class. And uh, John Lindsay's going to give away uh, a barbecue cl a steak uh, class. And uh, so we've got three classes that are going out. Plus, I'm going to probably throw at least one or two of our backyard barbecue classes out. It is going to be trivia questions. So put on your thinking cap. We're going to have a great time with this. And uh, if you've got any questions... Uh, for our barbecue uh, pit masters, our steak grill masters, uh, certainly this would be a great time to do it. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everybody that has supported us and has given us so much words of encouragement and uh, everything since we started three years ago. It was about this time. It was right at 7 o'clock that we launched it. Also, I want to let everybody know about a discount code that we've got. You can use coupon code happy Fourth. Get 15% off any of our classes, or if you want to buy a class for somebody, you can buy them a gift card. It's at bbqchamps.com. So happy 4th of July, everybody. We really do appreciate it. We wanted to try to do something special for you. So we've got our 4th of July uh, gift uh, 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 coupon code, 15% off any of our classes, coupon code happy 4th. And then once again, here at the end of the show, we're going to be giving away uh, quite a few classes, a state, two, one state class, uh, two barbecue classes from uh, David Bosk and Joey, and uh, probably going to throw in a couple of the backyard barbecue classes uh, as well. So without further ado, uh, we've got the Brady Bunch all sitting in the, all sitting in the green room, so I'm going to start bringing everybody in. And uh, first up, we're going to start with this man right here, uh, Mr. Matt Overson, the 2019 SCA U.S. Points Champion. Hello, brother. How are you doing? How you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. Uh, looking forward to a great show tonight. Looks like we got a lot of interest. Going to open this up. I hope I can keep up with all the comments. So pause the comments for just a second. Let me get everybody in, and then we'll keep them rolling. Up next is this young man's sister, 
Miss Marissa Overson, the 2020 SCA World Champion. Hey, Marissa, how are you doing, sweetie? I'm good. How are you? I am doing fantastic. I know you're excited to be graduated. Got all that behind you, and hopefully we're going to get to see you on the SCA trail here pretty soon. I hope so. All right, next up, the 2018 SCA World Champion, Mr. Terry Roan. Mr. Terry, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing awesome, Mike. How's That's everybody doing that? We're doing good, man. I'm pretty excited about this show. It's a lot of fun. We got I've never had this many people on at one time. And to have this many barbecue champs and uh you know, steak and, and uh and steak cookers and, and barbecue pit masters on at the same time, I think it's a pretty cool deal. So uh we're really looking forward to it. Now one thing I do want to make the announcement on. I didn't, Terry didn't even know it until he popped on just a minute ago, but we just released Terry's New 2022 updated steak recipe. Uh, if you have bought Terry Rohn's class in the past, this is no charge to you. It's already in your account. You can just go in and it's highlighted as, you know, 2022 updated steak recipe. So Terry was kind enough to come in. Uh, Shauna did. We've already got Shauna's release. We've got Terry's and probably within two weeks, we'll have Will Collier's 2022 updated recipe. So if you have bought his classes, you've got both his his recipe that he ran in 2018 that he won the world championship with. And at the same time, we got the new 2022 recipe. Terry, we had a lot of fun shooting that, brother. Yeah, uh, I think it will be beneficial to anybody that's already purchased the class. Uh, I hope they enjoy it. And uh, it's just some more uh, things that I've worked on since we had originally filmed it. Yeah, you know, I went back and watched it. And I tell you what, a lot more detail, a lot of the little different things that you've done. The cooking process and all that stayed the same, but you've definitely changed up the recipe a little bit. So yeah. we really appreciate you coming on and doing that. If anybody's got any questions, you know, we can we can certainly talk about that. Up next, we got this man right here, Mr. John Lindsay, the 2019 SCA points chase runner up. He was chasing Matt the entire year. Brother, thank you for being on tonight. Good to be here. Chasing him, but never could quite catch him. But I tell you, <laughs> I feel like I'm standing in the, or sitting in the presence of royalty here tonight. It's good to be on with every one of them. And, uh, man, I take my hat off and look up to everybody on here tonight. Thanks for allowing me to be a part of it tonight. Thank you so much, John. We really do appreciate it. Up next, this man right here, Mr. Lee Hickle, Red Mule's Badass Barbecue. Lee is an awesome cat. I tell you right now, the 2019 IBCA points champion came back in 2020 and was just this close of winning it again. He runnered up behind Phil Breeden. Uh, COVID just shortened the year. Lee, man, yeah. thank you for being on here, brother. Hey, thank you for the invite. Happy anniversary. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Three years. Have a, three years. Yes, yes, yes. It's It's been great. Now let's get to this guy. I think a lot of people know who we got here. This man right here, Mr. Robbie Royal. Hey, Robbie, how are you doing, sir? I'm good, y'all. <laughs> man, I tell you what, so good to have you on. And one of our original guys that we filmed, we started off with Joey and then went straight over to Robbie's place. Uh, Robbie, it's always great to have you on. We appreciate so much that what you've done for Barbecue Champs Academy and help spread the word, brother. I appreciate it. I'm looking forward to tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think it is. All right, up next, this guy right here that loves to throw a hat, <laughs> Mr. Joey Smith, the 2019 Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo World Champion. Huge, huge heart. This guy is the one that, that founded uh, the Texas Chrome Heroes Foundation. Joey, thank you so much, brother, for being on tonight. Uh, thank you very much for having me, Mike, and happy anniversary. And uh, what awesome night's going to be, man. It's uh, great to be at a round table, all these masters and fit cookers in the world right here. It's awesome. You, you ain't kidding. And I tell you what, we could not round it off with somebody any better than this guy right here. Mr. David Bosca, two-time world barbecue champion, 2020, uh, 2012 world food champion, and he was also the grand champion at the uh, 2018 Jack Daniel World Champion Invitational. David, brother, thank you, thank you, thank you for being part of Barbecue Champs Academy. Yeah, me too. Hey, Robbie, if you would, man, mute your. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Robbie's getting a yeah everybody knows if you've if you've been following Robbie if you're a friend his little boy Ford 
is he's in the other room and he's having a great time playing. And we figure Robbie does have some kind of Rockford Fosgate speaker system because it's picking it up in the other room and he's getting a lot of feedback. So Robbie's going to have to unmute himself to come in. So anyway, well, guys, look, I really do appreciate everybody being here tonight. I don't, I've got so many comments that I'm already behind on. So I'm just going to kind of run up here real quick just to make sure we don't have any questions. If y'all have any questions for any of these guys, please let us know. Um, and we're going to ask. I'm uh, just going to kind of run through Jody, Larry, Dwayne Anderson. Hi, Mike. Finally made it to a cook-off and you weren't there. Yeah, brother, I missed you this past weekend. I didn't get a chance to go. Uh, let's see. I'm just kind of looking. Caitlin and Miss Marissa. Hey, Terry. Man alive. There's so many comments. Look, I, I'll spend all day trying to – I'll spend all day just trying to get to all the comments. Look, we appreciate all the comments. They can see them. Um, the one thing I don't want to do is miss a question. Uh, let's see. <laughs> this was – oh, my God, I'm fainting here. If I recall, Cassie, aren't you from – I think you're from Australia or New Zealand. I think it's Australia. Uh, Gordon says we got barbecue and steak royalty on tonight. This is a pretty cool deal. Uh <laughs> <laughs> this is like an introduction in an all-star <laughs> I guess you guys probably feel pretty good. You're getting a pretty good invitation, uh, a round of uh, applause from everybody, that's for sure. All right, so I don't even know where to start. Yes, from Australia. All right, if anybody's got any questions, certainly this would be a great time. Uh, okay, so Gordon's already going to start the trash talk. Which one of you is the best? <laughs> that's, the, that's the first one. <laughs> I don't even know if we ought to throw that up there because I'll tell you right now. I get that question asked to me a lot. Who's, who's the class? Which class should I take? Which one's good? And I was like, just pick one. They're all good. So, uh, who, who's the best out there in the state cookers? I'm six foot five, and I'll thumb wrestle any of them. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, that ought to take care of the barbecue guys. And uh, Marissa, why don't you just go ahead and say, look, I'm the best looking. And nobody can walk in high heel shoes like me. So, there you there go. There you go. That's true. That's does true. anybody want? Does anybody want to take that challenge on? Oh goodness gracious! Well, if it can look. get me a world championship, I'll wear some high heels. I don't <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny, right there. That is hilarious. Yeah, you leave it up to Joey. I promise you, that guy is. If you have never been to a barbecue competition. With Joey Smith. And, Lee, I know you've cooked against him a few times right. and cooked with him. I remember the first time I was at a competition, and all of a sudden I, he got this brisket call, and he jumped up, and I looked up, and the hat, he has his cowboy hat, and this cowboy hat must have been 35 feet in the air. <laughs> and I was right. like, who is this guy? And he, Joey Smith, <laughs> you know. So, uh, Joey does have a great time at the barbecue competitions, that is for sure. So, Oh, goodness gracious. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. Have the matching bag and lipstick to complement the heels. <laughs> That's it. There you go. Oh, goodness. Anybody? So, look, uh, anybody got anything they want to say? Matt, I'll open it up to you first, man. You at the top of the screen. What do you mean? Yeah, you, you want you me to pick yeah, anything you want. What, do, what have you got that you want to talk about? Barbecue? I mean, steak? Whatever you got going on. I know we hadn't seen you cooking a lot. What, what you got going on these days? I'm getting ready to do some comps. Um, I got the uh, Fourth of July weekend. I'll be in Mason City cooking a uh, quad. Um, all on weekend, I'll be in Sugar Tree, Tennessee, uh, cooking grill on the river down there. Um, went to Memphis in May this year with uh, Morris Night Out. That was quite a fun time. So. Yeah, that was. Y'all finished second in Hog, didn't you? Yes. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, it's good to see you getting back out on the comp trail. That's for sure. Um, also, we got Marissa Overson, the 2020 SEA World Champion. Uh, sweetie, how you been doing, girl? I've been good. I've been busy, but I'm doing really good. Just graduated guess, college. Yeah, graduated, graduated college. college. And it's been, yeah, it was kind of crazy. I'm going back to school, so I'll keep doing some school again. But right now, just cooking competitions close to home and having fun doing it. It's just been laid back, and so... It's been nice. That's good. That's good. All right, All right Mr. Terry Rome. Buddy, what you been up to? It looks like I've seen you out on the comp trail. I know you're in the top ten in points. I saw that the other day. 
And uh, for those that missed it, you know, we do have Terry's new 2022 updated recipes that was just put up on his class. If you've already bought his class, you've got them. If you haven't bought his class, you'll get them. Plus his 2018 recipe. How you been doing, brother? Man, we're just uh, running the roads. Was in Tennessee this weekend. Uh, <clears throat> well, I tell you, there's, there's something going on with all these airlines. I sat in the airport 13 and a half hours on Sunday. Wow. <laughs> it, was, it was no fun. So uh, everything's going everything's going great. Uh, just chasing the points. Yeah. Yeah, it, it definitely is going to be harder now that, you know, every comp counts instead of just the top 15. So uh, if you're going to chase them, man, you're going to have to cook a lot of competitions. So, yes, sir. well, man, we appreciate you being on. Glad to see you're doing good. Mr. John Lindsay, uh, let's talk a little bit about you, man. I, not only have you been tearing it up in the SCA, you've been doing really good in some barbecue competitions. I know you've done had two or three. You was up in Washington, D.C., right in front of the White House this past weekend was out there with some of the best in the in the nation and uh, enjoyed every minute of it got to cook one of the best barbecue cooks that i know of is uh mr ronald burns he went down on us on saturday and got some food poisoning but he's a hero of mine always and he's um you know just one of the greatest in rick and sue man's he got to cook with them um yeah i've now look i haven't chased points per se this year and didn't last year uh, but we just cracked the top 25 with just what we're cooking. Cook more barbecue, took Robbie Royal's class and uh, uh, brushed up to go up and do the hog drop for Myron mixing up there and was fortunate enough to get a grand champion out of there. Um, and that pork loin, <laughs> that pork <laughs> loin of Robbie saved the day. I'll just put it that way. I can't say any more about it, but it was just absolutely helped me to get that done in uh, – um, and then we've cooked two or three barbecue comps. Again, had great weekend cooking barbecue. And our steak game finally figured out how to dial the wicked pig in. And uh, uh, to me, that's the best. I'm not saying it because they're on here tonight, but that's the best marinade on the market as far as I'm concerned. When you learn how to use it, it'll get the job done with our texture scores. And so that's helped me to get some of these wins this year. Yeah. And uh, we just now got our second win. We're fixing to start rolling them up here a little bit, maybe as time goes by. But we're enjoying the trip, like Terry said. We're just kind of enjoying being out here and, and running up and down the roads. Yeah, brother, I tell you right now, you have you've been cooking lights out this year. You have you have got steak dialed in, and dang man, you're you're freaking killing in the barbecue stuff as well. So, congratulations on a great year that you've had. Thank you, thank you. We sure have tried. We. Uh, We've got good teachers that are on the screen right here. Uh, yeah. You know, and it's kind of like David Bosca said when, when we were doing his show a, a year or so ago. Now it can put you in advantage just coming on board and what you, you know, what used to, you had to travel, you had to go anywhere, um, uh, get on the road, spend $1,000, do, do all kinds of stuff to try to get a little bit of instruction. Now we've got it right at our fingertips where we can learn. And you've got some of the best drop right down below me here barbecue cooks in the world that i look up to them and they're out there just just right at your fingertips so i mean it's, it's kind of easy to get out there and i'm not going to say it's easy you still got to get the job done but right. man the instruction is there for you if you want yeah yeah well i appreciate you so much john you've done so much to help us Thank and you. promote us and uh man i tell you what it, it's it's really 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 appreciated i can promise you that all right up next we got this man right here mr lee hickle uh, the Lee, man, I know you have you have been burning up the roads last year. Thank God, diesel fuel wasn't five fifty six dollars a gallon. Thank God. And you forty seven fifty thousand miles driving last right. year, forty competition plus. This year, I tell you what, you've you've still held your own. You've come back home and been cooking. Well, really not home. You've been you have been home, cooking yeah. in Texas. You've been cooking in Louisiana, <laughs> which that's a tough place to figure out. And now you're on the road up and doing KCBS right. again. So what what you got going yeah. on those last few? So weeks? I took a little. I took a three week trip. So I stopped off in Louisiana three weekends ago. Did a BCA cook off, and then from there I went up to Indiana. Did a basically a triple, a one rib cook off on Friday, and a double on Saturday and Sunday. Hit a monster first place rib on Friday. Uh, came back on Sunday, hit a fifth place rib. And then I uh, hopped over to West Chicago in Illinois this last weekend and uh, hit a fifth fifth rib, fourth turkey, and second chicken this past weekend. So I made enough gas money to get back <laughs> home. But I'm in Arkansas right now. 
There you so go. I've, I've been gone three weeks and uh, two KCBSs, one BCA. Let me tell you what, I, I cooked pork collars these last two weekends, and I got to get used to cooking pork collars, you know, because I'm used to cooking whole pork butts. Right. And I don't have a, enough au jus in my pan <laughs> for when I cook the whole pork butt, so I got to make some changes if I'm going to run the just pork collar. Just the collar, yeah. But uh, yeah. it was good to get back out on the road, you know, and I give it all a shout out to Cosmo Competition Barbecue Spices and Seasonings and Team BNB. You know, without them, you know, I couldn't be as successful as I am without them. So I appreciate everything they've done. And Barbecue Champs Academy and everybody here on this screen, you know, is top notch. I have bought a couple of state classes and barbecue classes from these from these people. And uh, man, buy the classes, save yourself the heartache on getting yeah. the butt whooped weekend, weekend, you know trying to figure it out just spend the money take the class so i appreciate you doing barbecue champs in a successful three years yeah thank you lee i really appreciate it and i, I want to thank you for everything you do for sharing our post and help promote it it's it's really it's really huge and we really appreciate it and, we, and we're thrilled to have you as part of barbecue champs academy as well so thank you thank you so much up uh, david bosca david man i tell you what man you are a class act no <laughs> doubt um we said we certainly do appreciate you. You've got some major credentials. How's your rub business you doing? What have you got? What have you got going on? And um, what's what's your plans for the rest of the year? Well, earlier this year we attended a lot of conventions and we had a, a, some trade shows. Even though some were canceled, but we were able to attend the big national barbecue reunion. We were tickled to death that some of our rubs won uh, the nationals. We had won first place in with our honey rub at the National Restaurant Association show. And then just, just a couple of weeks ago, we were announcing that our honey rub won the um, great rub on the planet. And man, that, that was amazing. What they left out was actually we had three rubs in the top 10. Oh, and wow. Yeah. So we've just been beating trying to find uh, enough uh, caps and bottles to put together to, to sell this stuff, but we, we've done real well with that. Um, we're going to hit the road again here in a couple of weeks, headed up to Kansas. Okay. Uh, off the rest off there. Um, and, and actually, that, that may be pretty close to it for about 30 days. And then we're going to be hitting some more around here. And, but this fall, we just signed up for the American Royal. We'll get our same whole spot, so if you come by and see my hand, stop one more time. I'd like to take a look in there, and all these folks, I'm sure a lot of these uh, uh, pit masters and state cooks and everybody will be there. So stop by all of us. We need to have a party. We need to have a barbecue dance party, if you will, y'all. Now, that do. sounds like a good idea right yeah. there. I like I'm that. I'm in for that. There you go. That would be, you know, that's something we could do because I am going to come. I'll be there on Wednesday. Matt, are you going to be there again this year? Yeah. Marissa? Yes. Okay, so there's two. I know Lee's there. Joey is there. I'm there. David's there. I know Sterling will be there. I know Mark will be there. We're going to have to do that. We need to get together, do a live round the table podcast, go live from the deal. And uh, and really have invite everybody over, right? That would be cool. David, <coughs> make sure you remind me of that because I think that would be a cool deal to do. We gotta, we gotta figure a way to do this. Where I, it's really great to answer these questions that people are popping in, but it'd be really great to have a microphone where they can ask us questions right there. That would be cool. cool. I think that'd be yeah. Fun. That would be a lot of fun, and we can make that happen. Yes, absolutely. And if y'all are commenting, just give me a second. I'm kind of running through everybody to let everybody talk a little bit. I'm going to get to all the comments, and we're going to still have these. we got two barbecue classes to give away and a steak class and probably going to throw in a backyard barbecue class. We're going to do that toward the end. We're going to have some trivia. It's going to be a lot of fun, so don't go away. Uh, Mr. Joey, brother, um, hard as big as all outdoors. Thank you so much for what you do for the uh, the veterans that are suffering from PTSD and and not only that the first responders. Uh, I know you've got a Texas six pack that you have put together six competitions uh, that you have been promoting all year. You've already had five of them. You got one more left down in August at the uh, Lost Lagoon. Beautiful, beautiful resort down there with yeah. a million gallon swimming pool and 
absolutely beautiful RV park. Uh, brother, tell us a little bit about that and what you've got going on with the Heroes Foundation. It's uh, been a great run. We just rolled out with the uh, high school barbecue national championship that we went to go speak at. And I will tell you this, I want to start there because uh, these up and coming kids that are in these classes, what they're doing in high school right now, get ready. Uh, you know, if we had this stuff back when we all were, we were all sugar. We didn't even have internet. Yeah. But uh, it was a great week there. We rolled out of there to go to the SS Memorial on the fifth leg of the series. Uh, we had a first responder that we flew in with Marcus Wood that uh, Red Tech brought on board. Uh, we mm -hmm. brought them in from Chicago. And uh, they dealt with the same plane flight like y'all did, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> they got stuck and plane flying is just nuts right now. But uh, yes, so we're getting ready for the last leg. The po points chase just got really tight. Got three in the top hunt right now. It's anybody's game. It's what I dreamed it to be. That's awesome. I'm so excited to get this series started in Texas and for it to do this and benefit uh, not only just first responders and uh, our veterans, but it's benefiting up and coming cooks, especially cooking in this series because uh, everybody has been wide open about trying to help them. We've had a bunch of classes getting pushed over to barbecue champs. Yep. The people that has signed up and bought classes throughout all y'all has been really responsive. It's been awesome. They've learned a lot and they have to, to be able to cook some kind of series like this. So uh, right. It's something we're looking forward to continue for next year and uh, can't wait to finish the uh, season here in Lost Lagoon. That's going to be great. Well, if you don't know, Joey was the first person that we brought in on Barbecue Champs Academy. Joey was so nervous, his knees are knocking, did not want to be. <laughs> you can not tell he's like, I am not in front of a camera. I was like, well, you are now. What are we going to say? I have no idea. That was exactly what I told him. I said, just follow my lead. I'll make it up as I go. <laughs> and that's literally how it went. <laughs> so oh, he I said, you could, you had David, you, you had all these other guys. So, man, you sure you don't want to call them first? <laughs> no, you was, you was the first. He was my first call. So the way this worked, I dreamed up this idea. And I was like, I really want to have some online cooking classes. I think this would really be cool. And Joey had just won the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. And it wasn't a week later. And I called him. I said, Joey, you're a world champion. Yeah, I know it. I can't believe it. And I had never met Joey. I probably only talked to him once on the phone. And I said, I've got an idea. I want to do an online tell-all barbecue and steak class. I said, I need world champions. That's all I want. I, I want people that have got the accolades. I'm in. I was like, awesome. I hung up the phone. The next day, I called Robbie Royal. <laughs> I was like, Robbie. And I had never met Robbie. I've only talked to him on the phone once or twice. And I said, Robbie, I've got this crazy idea of something I'm wanting to do. Blah, blah, blah. I kind of told him. He said, man, I've always wanted to, to try to put something like that together. But I, I just ain't going to try. I, it's just too much to try to do. And I want to be part of that. This could be huge. And um, Robbie said yes. So just like that, two phone calls, two two barbecue guys hung up. Called Shauna Rapolo. She's here in Shreveport. Same thing. Called her up. Met her at the bank. My my banker knew her, and I went up there and and met her in in person there. She was on board. And then I called Alan Newton. I knew Alan. I had cooked against him, and uh, Alan said, "Well, of course I'm in." And then. That was it. And then Joey starts making phone calls. Well, you need to call Corey Mikes. I called Corey Mikes. I'm definitely in on this. And he said, well, then we're going to get Mark Lambert. And I was like, man, this is just going crazy. And then from that, we got – and I, I had met Lee right after that here in Shreveport. And I said, Lee, I really need you to win the IBCA point champ because I – and I didn't tell him why. I was just like, I need you to win this deal. So – and then, sure enough, he won the points championship. And then Sterling came about. And then we got, you know, David Bosca and, and Craig Sherry. And, and then Robert we got Smith. Robert Smith. And, and then we just started bringing in more state cookers. We, we had the two with, with John and, and um, Shauna. And then we brought – or, excuse me, with, uh, uh, with Alan and Shauna. And then I had Terry and John come in on the same weekend. And one came in on a Saturday and one came in on a Sunday. It was Super Bowl weekend, 2020. And uh, that was the start of that. Then we got Matt in there, and then we got, let's see, Will. And then after that, we got the champ, you know, Marissa. So it's been a great run. We've got other things that's cooking. Um, we really appreciate everybody. And um, we're going to give away some classes. Sit tight. 
I've, I've got 41 comments over here. So I'm just going to kind of start from the bottom and go up. Um, I think a teacher-student showdown would be fun. Yeah, I thought that would be a pretty fun deal, too. Uh, Clash of the Titans, you know, teacher versus student. That that could be uh, that could be something that would be pretty cool. Take my advice as you will, but just concentrate on steak and stop doing ancillary. <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably helps. Thanks to Joe Texas Chrome Heap Foundation for helping veterans. Absolutely. Uh, wow, look at this group. Yeah, we, we got a pretty big group tonight. So, uh, Joey, I have a question. A lot of PTSD goes undiagnosed. Does a veteran first responder need an official diagnosis to be eligible for your program? Great question, BJ. BJ, no, they don't. Uh, my door's uh, swinging open. We know that uh, a lot of my discs underneath their hat were not those people. I, I don't go through those kind of programs. They come in and get on our website, click on their fill out application. Let's get them in the door. That's that's awesome. That's really awesome. Oh man! So who's the better cook, Matt or Marissa? Mm. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, I remember Matt one time kind of popped off on a show that I had him on, and Marissa was over there in the wings, over there in the in the chat, and she said something, and Matt said, bring it, and I was like, be careful what you wish for, and he was like, I ain't scared of her, so I showed up at the world championship in Fort Worth, and not this year, but last year, and I said, uh, remember that? Deal, you told Marissa to bring it. Yeah, I said, we're fixing to do a Clash of the Titans here in the parking lot. You two, brother versus sister. So, and it was so awesome. It was spur of the moment. They had, what, it was an hour and a half to prep to stake the whole nine yards. Uh, so, uh, Marissa won. So, as of now, and she's got the world champion ring. Matt's got the points champion ring, but that was a pretty cool deal. So, it, great sports the whole time. And uh, it, we had a lot of fun with that. It really was. If you have not seen Barbecue Champs, Clash of the Titan, Brother vs. Sister, it is on our Facebook page. You'll have to scroll back to go look at it. This guy right here, Mr. Steve Dotson. Man, I tell you what. Thank you, Steve. Uh, Steve reached out to me probably six months after we launched Barbecue Champs. He was a backyard KCBS cook. Um, and he took uh, Corey Mike's class. And he has just absolutely crushed it. He crushed the backyard division. He went pro uh, end of last year, cooking off against Lee Hickel in, in a stack field, his first one. Uh, he had a double header, um, seven calls. Daylight, out Virginia. Of a, yeah, in Virginia. Had seven calls out of a possible eight walks, including a perfect, I think, 180 brisket in day two, and wow. finished third overall behind Lee, who got reserve, and then I forgot who won it. And then this year, he's just been on absolute fire. I, I done lost count. Three or four, two or three grand champions, a bunch of 700 scores, three or four 180s and brisket, just absolutely. And, Steve, thank you so much, man, for what you have done and the shout-outs that you have given us. That guy has sold more classes for Corey Mike's than I can possibly even count on my, on my hands. So thank you so much, Steve. Hey, one of your uh, alumni, one of your alumni won that back-to-back double header in galax really okay. yeah okay i didn't know that wow yeah. that's pretty cool uh have some yes. goodies for the texas chrome heroes okay so yes. david's going to be reaching out to you that's gunner wilhine uh he's a huge supporter of barbecue champs we thank him he's one of our partners thank you so much for david and thank you for helping joey and the texas chrome guys uh let's see scott nardi uh question for david which of your chicken injections have the most success in KCBS? Well, let's start out with what my favorite is, and that's the rotisserie. That is my all time favorite, but that's not what has the most success. It's it's probably a tie between the honey and the original. And I think the honey just nudges out the original with just a little bit. Okay. All right. That's another great guy right there. Scott Nardi was gracious enough to come on after he won the 2021 SCA World Champion. Gave a huge shout out to Matt Overson. He took his class. Scott, thank you so much, man, for, for doing that for us and letting people know about the classes. And, uh, man, just you had an incredible year last year. You was my odd zone pick to win that deal. Uh, I feel like I got a lot of pressure now because I really thought you was going to win it. The year before, when we was in the parking lot, 
with Matt and Marissa cooking against each other, I told her, I said, I, I think you're going to end up winning this deal this year. And you can hear me saying on the camera. And sure enough, two days later, she won the world champion. So, um, but I appreciate you, Scott, so much. Uh, let's see if we got any other question. I'll be there. Let's party at the roll. Okay, so BJ's going to be there. So we're going to definitely put that together. Oh, look out who else we had here. We tried to get Mark. I called him yesterday, and he didn't answer, and it was too late to get. He called me this morning. I was like, ah, oh, I can't get you on, man. We've already done put everything. But we He's had Mark on, on here. Road. Yeah, we had Mark on here a couple days or a couple weeks ago. Congratulations to that man, seven-time world champion. Mark, that is that's insane, dude. That's right. so, My brother right there. That's it. That is it. Uh, let's see. Hey, John, what was your adjustment on using Wicked Pig? Uh, he may, well, he may not. <laughs> let, let, let me say this. We're going to film one of my classes here. That's it. The update, and I'll share more. But I just want to say this, uh, just without giving the farm away. Time, amount, and feel. And those three will get it. It's a balance. And there's yep. some telltale signs. We can't give that farm away just yet, but uh, yep. man, That's I love it. that product. I don't have to worry about texture scores anymore. No, that Wicked Pig is some crazy stuff. It is yeah, so it good. Is. It is so good. Let's see. You get that deck built yet? <laughs> yeah, poor Lee. Yeah. He's at his parents' house. He's having to put a deck together for his parents. So, What's up, Brian? Uh, That's let's the bus. See. Yep, I'll be heading up to Madison or uh, Mason City this weekend. Let's see. Okay, does Terry sell any of that ice that is in his veins? <laughs> Point chasing is a lot of stress, and I could sure use a, a transfusion for Mister Roan. Yeah, you know it was funny when we was doing Clash of the Titans. Baby. I kept I kept calling him Ice Man. <laughs> so he is he's as smooth as it gets. So oh goodness, and don't forget, just want to show it to be. We're going to be popping up this. It's going to be here about another 15, 20 minutes. And uh, we're giving away two barbecue classes and some state, cl state class uh, as well. Uh, let's see where I left off. Mark, Terry, uh, over 25 top 10s. Okay. I just Second case stop. state, seventh Oklahoma State champion and going. Great foundation to build on. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that is, that is pretty awesome, man. That is that is crazy good. Hey, Congratulations. Mike, yeah. Did I sleep through it or did we get to introduce Robbie over there and let him tell us what's going on? Did I not get I thought I did him first. No, no, you you left him out. That's what I was sitting here thinking. Robbie, <laughs> I was gonna say something. The stage but is yours, bud. God. I'm Come sorry. on, Robbie. Unmute Hold on. Thing. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. And we got this guy. <laughs> Robbie Royal, Season 5, Barbecue Pit Master Grant. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Robbie. No, Robbie? it's all good. All good. All good. I'm sorry, brother. I, I thought I started with you first, and I just forgot to the end and left you out. It's, it's all good. I'm used to being left out, Mike. Oh, you? no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, man, I know you have been getting a chance to do a little cook-off this year as well. I know I've seen yeah. you at two or three GBAs and done yep. very well uh tell us a little bit about what's going on in your life brother um right now leading the points of ribs in the state of georgia um uh third place in points two points behind second place uh um, barbecue champs has been amazing for me um i've had the pleasure of watching uh um, five of the five of the last six years last year i won team of the year in georgia was 2016. i've been second place every year except for last year when I skipped three events, and I think I wound up fifth, fifth or sixth. And uh, every year I was runner up to somebody that's either taking a live class or taking a barbecue champs class of mine. So uh, that that's a lot of fun. It's Somebody says you're not disappointed that somebody that you've taught or that's taking your classes online or is beating you. I say, heck no, man, that's great advertisement, you know? So, you ain't kidding, it is. Um, but uh, cooking a lot, I hear a little talk about Galax. Uh, the res Rescue Smokers uh, will actually be in Galax this year, cooking the duel, NBN and KCBS, so I'm excited about that. And looking at going to Murfreesboro um, in September. So spreading out a little bit, going to cook a few NBNs, cook a few whole hogs, and uh, hopefully run into some of these guys here. Seems like the couple of KCBSs I cooked this past year, 
Lee cooked every other one in Georgia except for the two I went to. So um, <laughs> he's been he's been on the road a lot. But uh, um, and uh, you know, just looking to my left here on the screen, um, I wouldn't be where I am today without uh, David Bosca. Um, a lot of folks don't know it before David and I were even on Barbecue Pitmasters. Uh, I don't know what he saw in me or whatever, but uh, I became one of his uh, his teams, sponsored teams, and I cooked with a lot of his product. And uh, just here in the honey. Um, those who have taken my class, my online classes, you know that that honey plays a huge part in one of those categories that most folks don't cook. So beating around the bush there, but we're talking about loin. And uh, I wouldn't be where I am without David Bosca. And, uh, you know, just looking at this entire group of folks here, if you want to cut three years and $20,000 out of your learning curve and save the money, take any of these classes right here. And that's what it here for that was mike's main goal when he spoke to me he said they can spend five six hundred dollars here and win it back at the first comp you won't believe how many folks that have taken the classes not just mine lee hickles and kcbs um you know david boscus for kcbs um um and so forth and uh you know and they, they said you know i literally won a first place at my first comp and that was the money that i spent on the class you know so you're ahead of the game right there but these classes and the state classes, I've taken several of you guys state classes and I think you know who you are. And uh, um, I don't cook a lot of steak, but it's amazing to watch those videos. And uh, um, what Joey does for with his barbecue champs, it, it makes you sit back and smile because uh, it takes special people to do that. And, um, yeah. and stuff like that. So but anyways, I have a great time. Yeah, I appreciate the moment here, Mike. Appreciate you. Yeah, not forgetting me. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Robert. Yeah. Th thanks, David, for reminding me oh, there. Oh, so. and, and one more thing. Um, yeah. I know it doesn't pertain to barbecue champs, but I think barbecue champs is going to get a few toots out of it um, on on live TV. But Stephanie and I actually filmed a new show called uh, Barbecue USA with Michael Simon, and our our uh, episode airs July the eighteenth at nine o'clock on the Food Network. And uh, the good thing is I got barbecue champs across the front of my smoker, and I'm hoping that a lot of folks get to see that, and it helps all of us. <laughs> I am too. Thank you. So Robbie said, I think they're going to put it in. I think they're going to put it in. I was like, yeah. man, that's going to be great. So thank you, you Robbie. Clip, so we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what, y'all have done so much to help me grow this, and, and it wouldn't be where it is today without all of y'all sharing posts, retweeting, plugging us. I mean, Lee, Robbie, Joey, John, I mean, Terry, I mean, y'all, y'all all do y'all's fair share of, of getting it out there. And, um, and we appreciate it. And, and just some of the posts that we get, I, I don't know if I've deleted it, but I, I had a guy that posted in, in one of the forums today and, you know, it was so great to see this type of message, but. You know, he said, I want to thank Corey Mikes for all the advice on his videos. I competed in my seventh competition in Canada and was the grand champion. My results are first place in chicken. I received a perfect score, the first ever in Canada, a 180. I had a first place rib, a second place pork, a second place brisket, and finished with 704. And I'm the second Canadian team to join the 700 club. Wow. You know, and that's in his seventh competition. You folks want to know if these classes work? I just tell you right now, they do. And it's just like Joey said just a minute ago. If you want to take three years and twenty thousand dollars off the learning curve, take a class. You know things have gotten very expensive with gas, diesel, meats. A lot of people are cutting back. I wouldn't go to a class, you know, without taking something. So I have an edge to go in there and have some top ten calls. So. Yeah, thank you. And we're, we're going to help somebody out because we're going to give away two barbecue classes. We're going to give away a steak class. We're, we're just having a lot of fun tonight. And so far, it's been really, really good. But uh, I certainly want to thank all of y'all. Uh, let me get back to some questions now that I've got Robbie taken care of. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Uh, let's see. Happy anniversary. It's been awesome folks, for sure. I think we've already got that one. Hey, if y'all got any more questions, you know, that was a great time to pop them up. Uh, see where did I leave off? I got that. I've tried other steak marinades and they just don't compare. Uh, 
Hey, John. Hope to see you Sunday in Junction City. We'll be so, there. Okay, Larry, we'll you're going to see Larry. Is that a state yeah. competition? Wow, Larry, yes, you're going sir. over. So Larry is. He was. He was literally one of the first guys that I cook against all the time. Uh, three days after we launched Barbecue Champs Academy, that man right there took Corey Mike's class. Uh, he had probably cooked in maybe ten or twelve competitions. I think he had a few top ten calls. Uh, he goes to his first competition five days later after taking Corey Mike's class and. He killed it. I, I, I can't remember all the calls, but I remember he had a chicken walk. I think he had like a second, third place rib walk. He made 600 bucks the first the first weekend that he cooked it. He came up to me and said, I paid 599 for the class. I made 600. I made a, I'm up a buck, and, I, and I've only went to one competition. And he went to the next, walked in two or three of the categories, went to the next one, walked in, I think, all three categories, went to his next one, and had got his first grand champion. And I think he made $1,900 in his first four competitions. So if you want to know if they work, that guy right there can tell you as well. So uh, it was really great to see that, and uh, it's, it's so awesome. Let's see, SEA All-Stars, what's your biggest change cooking steaks going into the hot summer versus the cooler spring temps? Good question. Okay, that's a good question. Matt, I'm going to put you on the spot. <laughs> Uh, the cooler temps, I uh, got to warm that steak up a little more. Uh, just, you know, just like in the summer, just leave it out there, get it to room temp. Um, so in the spring, when it's cooler, you need to find a way to uh, warm that up a little bit. Okay. All right. Marissa, you got any comments for that? Um, I think the biggest thing for me is the air, the what you're surrounded by. So I've got to watch what you're cooking in and if it's humid, if it's dry all of that different type of stuff so that's uh let me tell you right now that girl may be the youngest sea cooker of the year or, or, or sea championship uh winning the sea excuse me the sea world champion uh maybe the only female or the only female to ever win it but i'm telling you that girl has got some serious knowledge and when she started telling me some of the stuff in her class i'm like going what in the heck are you talking about so I would listen to what she has to say. Mr. Terry Roan, summer versus cooler spring. What's the changes? Oh, wow, guys. I mean, it, there's a lot of things to consider. Uh, Give me Matt, one. Because don't Matt take them all because John won't have any. <laughs> well, Matt touched on it. Um, uh, you're going to have to get the steak up, you know, in the, in the cool temps versus the warm temps. And uh, I, I think you deal with more humidity in, in the cooler weather as well. Uh, they, even though your humidity may be high in the morning, as the, in the summertime, as the temp goes up, it starts to bring that humidity down. So okay. that'd be All the right. best thing I know to say. All right. What about you, John? Well, predominantly where we cook here, you know, especially here in Arkansas where I'm at, Summertime's way more humid than, than you know, winter for sure. Um, we've got some of those summer days, you can cut it like a knife. I mean, it's just tough. And so it's going to affect, first of all, your timing on your steak. Um, it'll take a lot longer to get one done in the wintertime than it does summer, uh, any way you slice it. Uh, but also, uh, so you got to watch your timelines. But one more thing is your carryover and your rise due to that humidity is going to be way different in the middle of the summer than it would be. So when we start cooking in January, February, March, we always have a change somewhere between March and April. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it really mess you up there for a week or two if you're cooking every week to kind of yeah. watch what's going on. But, but we have a certain set we do in, in winter. We have a certain set we do in summer, and we make those adjustments when we, when we can't do them anymore. So that's there you go. about all I can that's pretty that's there's there's your tips right there uh john real quick paul wants to know how's how's john walter doing john walter is doing great he is absolutely doing doing wonderful thank you for your prayers and thoughts for him you know when he quit cooking steaks uh he was number five in the nation that year and on his way to a really great year um john walter um uh, has spent, uh, let's see, 16, 17 months completely clean, uh, no drinking, uh, got a great That's job, awesome. got a great girlfriend, 
That's and awesome. gave his testimony at church Sunday. He's just doing as good as anybody can do. And thank you for, for asking and for the prayers and support for him. That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see. Are we going to see updates from Matt and John? Marissa is still pretty recent. Yeah, John is uh, trying to get down here. Uh, we have been doing talks, and I'm, I have talked to Matt about it. Matt said he wants to. It's just getting the schedule cleared out for them. Uh, Wills will be out. In a couple weeks, we'll probably have Wills out. So the only ones we're still left with is John, Matt's, and uh, we may get Marissa in next year because hers is still a pretty recent class. So... Uh, let's see. I don't do comps with backyard cooking. Health is bad. I was blessed to go to Myron Mixon's cooking class, learn so much. That's good. That's good. We got some great backyard barbecue classes. Uh, let's see. I'm a rookie. Wished I could win a class. Okay. Well, you, you very well may. We're going to have the trivia questions here in a minute. And that's how you're going to figure out who's going to win this stuff. We got some great questions lined up. So we're going to see if anybody can get these questions. I hope you've been watching a little bit of Barbecue Champs, but it's some great trivia questions. Is any state cooker coming to Shiner this weekend? Terry, you going to Shiner? No, I think I'm going to. I wouldn't miss getting to see John this weekend down in South Arkansas. So okay. I'll probably see him there. Okay. Hey, what uh, part of Arkansas? El Dorado, Arkansas, and then Junction City. Okay, I'm in D Queen right now. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll stick around and come see you. you okay, go. come on. <laughs> Love to have I you. can answer. I can answer John's question. Okay, Joe, question. I've never cooked under CBA rules. How is the pork butt presented? Is it just pulled? Go ahead, Joey. Answer that. Joe, you can do it pulled or however you like. You can do the medallions and muddy muscle. You can pull the bacon if you know about know enough about that right now. If you're new at it, I would just cook a great pork butt. Joe, you've been to my class already, so I think just like we do anything else, you call me, we'll get you started on that because I know you're coming to Lost Lagoon. And uh, start with the pulled and just keep it simple on your first run, and then you'll get learning from there, taking some of these other guys' classes here on barbecue camps. Yeah, absolutely. And we're coming up with a pork update as well at the end of the year with Mike anyway, so that's coming soon as well yep. with our yep. updated class. Yeah, we are still working. I'm trying to get David in here. So we're going to get David an update. Uh, we're going to try to get Robbie in here. We're going to definitely get uh, Joey in. We're, we're working on all the barbecue guys. It's just logistics of getting everybody in is the biggest thing. So now that things are kind of in the peak part of the summer where a lot of cooking is not going on, I'm hoping that they can free up a weekend to get up here and maybe we can knock out two or three of them in the same day. So uh gordon says they're great classes we appreciate it uh hey john is there a release for the grilling time or butter bomb yet uh butter bomb is a collaboration between me ronald burns and bama q tv it's a great product that's coming out this week uh starting starting to sell it now grilling times that new finishing resting rub that we have that's really been a key to some of my success this year and we're looking at about three weeks on it that's good that's good. About three weeks. Okay. Uh, Bo, my 13 year old is making his debut this weekend on SCA Trail. Thanks to Chip Barbecue Champs. He's ready. Good luck, Brody. Awesome. I hope you're doing good. Luck. good. Yeah. That's awesome. Good luck. Uh, Danny Keep Ham, happy up, third baby. anniversary. Yeah, oh, yeah. Let us know how he does. Uh, Danny Ham, happy third anniversary, Barbecue Champs. Let's see. I'll be taking another class before the end of July. Good deal, Juke. Hey, right now we got a class. We got a discount code. Happy 4th. Happy 4th. It expires on uh, Monday. Get 15% off any class. We're fixing to have our trivia questions here for the free class. So everybody's here. Don't go away. Uh, let's see. Learned a lot from John at Myron Mixon's class. Great guy. Um, what is the best way to keep the seasons from going bad in cold and hot weather? All right, David. We're going to let you answer that one. Keep buying new wood. <laughs> I love it. Okay, that took care of that question. <laughs> oh, dang these rub salesmen. We're rough. Yeah. <laughs> My wife likes to have a new pair of pink shoes before this is over with. Absolutely. <laughs> I do I actually do this between each cook, even if it's a week apart or a few days apart. We'll take a simple Ziploc bag and I start cutting a lot of squares out of them. And I always put it between the lid and the jar. It's mm -hmm. just that easy. Just, just keep it, keep all the oxygen out of it as possible. Uh, I am not a fan 
of putting it in the refrigerator or putting it in the freezer. And it's not that it doesn't keep it, but what it does is when it thaws out, it starts coming back to the temperature, it starts moisture. It draws moisture, exactly. But what it really is, is just exactly what I started with. What you're trying to taste out of rub is the oils, the essence of the oils in these rubs is what you need on your meat. So the older it gets, it's just losing its power, its zap. So I was being very curious when I say keep buying new ones. Okay, that's good. That's good. I do that on the rubs that I have that uh, that I don't save the little sealing disc on top. I always save those. So when I tighten it up, it seals it. If I don't have that, I take a piece of saran wrap and I just put over the top of it and, and put my lid on. So absolutely. Uh, yeah, we do have a pretty big lineup tonight. I, I would say that. Um, with all these great champions besides steak or barbecue, which is the best way to decide whose class to take? <laughs> Boy, if where I already you, had a... You, if I only had, where you're from and what yeah. region you're cooking in, probably how I would decide. Yeah. So and that's I usually think, what I, I think did. The, the type of smoker you're cooking on. If you're cooking on a, a stick burner or a... Um, or, or an insulated pit that's you know and you can ask mike those questions when you're interested in buying a class yeah don't go to indiana right. illinois north tennessee uh, north alabama <laughs> with a with the offset cook cans yeah i like cans over there yeah they love cans up there that's for sure no but that is that's a good question that's what i, I usually if when i get this question directed to me i usually ask what organization what region what kind of cooker you know, and then I'll say, look, here's two cookers. This is, these guys fit your criteria. Go pick it out. Either one of them. It don't matter which one you get. All you guys are, are freaking great. So, but I kind of narrow it down that way. So, Eric, if you want to know which one to take, you can send me an email to info at bbqchamps.com. And um, info at bbqchamps.com and tell me, like, what organization you cook, you know, what kind of cooker you got, where the region is. And I'll kind of help you narrow it down to maybe a couple of them. So, uh, yeah, but again, Robbie and Dave, yeah, they're all they're good. Let's see, uh, is that barbecue uh, Santa Claus? <laughs> it's legal. I even shaved it today too. There you go. Uh, let's see. All right, what else we got? I think we got for the barbecue pit masters. Which flavor profile do you recommend for your final dust before your final turn in in the different <laughs> proteins? Wow. wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think, what do you want? I'll I'll answer. Answer. I, I, I think it depends on what it tastes like. No piece of meat's going to cook the same every time because every piece of meat's different. Um, you've got to taste it. Do you need a little more? kick i keep three different dusted dust rubs in my little thumb grinders and depending on if it needs something with salt i kick it with that if it needs a little heat i kick it with that rub if it just needs some savory then i dust it with that rub it just depends it depends on that final bite that you're taking what you're going to put on it but definitely use a thumb grinder pro tip it dissolves instantly Who's class in here to take if cooking on gravity feds in Georgia? Well, I can only tell well, you. He was just speaking. So yeah, you might that, say, that, that guy over there guy, on the end, that guy, that guy, right. that guy right there with the red shirt, that was that's the one you would want to take. Uh, stick burners wins up here, Lee. Come on now. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, uh, bus. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Edward uh, took Joey's class, went to a cook-off last weekend in Beeville, took fifth overall. Man, that is freaking great. I love hearing stories like that. Get it all, so, Edward. Anything else we can cover with, I'm a, right here, bud. That is so awesome. Well, look, it's been a great show. We've got a lot of questions. Let's have a little fun with some giveaways. What you guys think? So, all right. Uh, two things real quick. Coupon code, happy 4th. Happy 4th of July, everybody, this weekend. Get 15 15% off of any class. Now, let's get to some trivia questions. Uh, nobody's posting right now, so if you would, don't post anything. Uh, what advice do Terry, Marissa, and have for John for Dallas on continuing to cook steak in the SCA? Uh, probably take Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing and what got you there. All right, let's see. Let me go over here real quick and get to my first question. Okay, first question. This is going to get you um, 
uh, Joey Smith's class. Uh, we'll use that one as the first one. First question. Which one of our barbecue pit masters won their third world champion at the American Royal last year? And what category did he win it in? So first person to answer correctly will win a class from Joey Smith. Which one of our barbecue pit masters won their third? Corey Mikes. Okay. Brisket. Yes. <laughs> James Dotson just won. <laughs> he just won it. Corey Mikes brisket. Yes. 100%. James Dotson was the first one. Like this guy right here, you know, he's only winning every competition he goes to. Now he's got a barbecue pit master class. All right, James. <laughs> I know who you are, so I will definitely – let me write this down real quick. That is pretty awesome. I was wondering if they would get both of them. So, James Dodson. He was on our show last week. This is Mr. Limp Brisket himself. He it's probably, probably need, Erica. He probably need it, exactly, because, you know, he's probably like, God, I got to get one. I got to get one. I need help because Eric has just been killing me. So, all right, James Dodson uh, gets uh, Joey's class very very good all right this is going to get a john Lindsay state class and you're going to get these classes now i'm going to give them to you for 30 days because anytime we give one free it's a 30-day class so you'll get the class for 30 days and then it'll expire so this is john Lindsay's tell-all state class and he did a pork steak as well Honey, give me an extra phone. I need to start typing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. In Barbecue Champs Academy, Clash of the Titan, who went head-to-head -head in the finale and who won it? Who went head-to-head -head in the finale of Barbecue Champs, Clash of the Titans, and who won it? First person that gets both of those right wins John Lindsay's class. Barbecue Champs, Clash of the Titan. Finale. Up, up. I think we got it. Hold on. Let me see. I think it's Brandon. Paul, let's see who was the first one. Backing up, backing up. Yep. Brandon Nelson. Terry and John. John won. That's it. Right, Brandon. Brandon. Good job. Good job. And Congrats. Nelson. He gets John Lindsay. Brandon, have you bought a class from us before? If you have, let me know. Pop it up. It's probably, John, it's probably John's class. It probably, it probably <laughs> is. <laughs> I, team Arkansas. Is that part of it? <laughs> you are terrible. That's terrible. Oh goodness gracious! That is that is too funny. Yes, I have all I have all five of the state classes. <laughs> Look, if you got all five of the state classes, I don't know if we should have let him play. So, oh goodness gracious! All right. Um. Okay. We got to do something for Brandon. Brandon, do you have? Do you have our backyard barbecue classes? Because I can't give you John's class. Because you've already got John's class. Hey, Brandon, do you have... I have John's class. Do you have our backyard barbecue class, Brandon? No, I doubt it. He probably doesn't. Post away and let me know. If you do... if I do. <laughs> God, yeah. All right, Brandon. We gotta We're gonna get these classes to some new people that need to get involved. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I got. I got to do. I got to do something here. So, I'll, all right. I'll buy yes. It from Brandon. I'll buy it from Brandon, and I want Joey to auction it off at the next um, fundraiser he has for the uh, the troops down there. David, that'd be absolutely wonderful. Oh, Thank you, brother. Man. Okay, that is awesome, David. All right, Brandon, so David. Oh, let's ask him first. Will you sell it to me? So I can... <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so Joey, at the at the I know you have a big raffle at your last cook off. Um, yeah, we have a live auction. A live it's auction. Large, so we're gonna so, uh, give away. David's gonna a lot buy. Of y'all are already on my list anyway to call. 
Okay. Well, John's John's got a free class now. So, all right. Let's go. Let's let's have another one. That that was pretty good. All right. Let's do this one more time. Let me open up my phone. Let me get to my questions. I tell you what, y'all have answered two of them. I did not think that nobody would would know. All right. Here we go. Uh, let's see. This will be for. Uh, let's see. We've already given Joey's class away. This is going to be for David Bosca's class. Good thing is <laughs> there's four to choose from. So if you have bought David Bosca's all access class, uh, don't participate because this is for his class. Okay. So here we go. Um, here's the question. Which of our two barbecue pit masters has been on the TV show? Barbecue pit masters. First two, or the first person that answers it right, which two of our barbecue pit masters has been on the TV show Barbecue Pit Masters? Do, 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 do. Robbie and David. There we go. That's the, I think, I think he got it. Let's see which one was the first one. First one that I saw come across, I think, was Bo. Let me see. Back it up. Does he have a pool? Trade for David, Robbie, Robbie Royal. All right, Brandon. Brandon was the first one to name both of them, Robbie Royal and Bosca. All right, Brandon. B R A N. Congrats. Brandon L A U G H L I N gets a David Bosca class. All right, so Brandon, tell me which one of David's classes that you would like. I think you have bought classes from us before. It's easy if they've already bought a class from us. I can add them right to it. So Brandon, let me know which class to, that you want. He wanted to trade it for the chicken class. Yeah, I saw that was. Was that this? No, that was a different person. I think that's the gentleman that I offered to buy the class from. So yeah. Yes. I, I, Mike, can you assist with that? Yes. Chicken class, and then take the the steak class for Joey. Okay, so you want to give that class to him? Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay that's, Brandon. That's what he wants to do. I'll give him the chicken class for his steak class. Okay. Auction that off with Joey now. Okay. All right, Brandon Nelson, you're going to get David Bosca's chicken class. This is fun. Thank you, David. David Bosca's chicken class goes to him. Brandon, not not Brennan, but Brandon. Brandon, which class do you want of David Bosca's? I don't know if you've posted it. Brisket. All right. So you're going to get David Bosca's brisket class. That's an awesome class. That's an awesome, awesome class. class. That's, yeah. that's, pretty, that's pretty cool right there. All right. Brisket. So Brandon got David Bosca's class. Brennan got David Bosca's chicken class. James Dotson got Joey's chicken class. No, 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 no. He hasn't told me. We got to go find out which class he wants. I'll have to. I'll have to. James, I'll get back with you on that. I need to consult with Erica to find out which class that she needs you to have. So, <laughs> oh goodness, what the hell is this? What? We can't the, read nothing. The coupon what code is the up. We freaking can't see heck! You see that bull crap? That's all right. They're gone. All right. Uh, laughing out loud. True. All right, so let's do another class real quick. We're going to give away uh, a championship backyard barbecue class. Uh, let's see if we can come up with another one. Uh, one more here. Which one of our steak grill? Now, look, if you've already bought the backyard barbecue class, please do not play because you've already got it. Okay? Which one of our steak grill masters was the first person to ever have a perfect score in the SCA? Which one of our state grill masters was the first person to ever have a perfect score in the SCA? This will get our backyard it's barbecue one of those. class. It's one of those Matt. up there. Matt, Zach, Zach, up, 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 up. I'm seeing a few. Who was the first one that put Matt? Matt, 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 John Lindsay, <coughs> Michael Van Vliet. Michael got it. He was not, wait a minute, wait a minute. Brett Davis was before him. Can't even read. Let me go back and look. Brett Davis. Brett Davis, you are correct. Brett Davis. 
gets a CBB Championship Backyard Barbecue class. All right. That's pretty hey, good. Mike. Yes. Mike, we still got 80 people on here. I'll give away a class. I'll, I want to, I'll, I'll, I'll ask the question. Okay. Well, here we go. Hold on now. Let me get, all right. So, all right. So now Matt's going to give away a class. Hold on. Let me get uh, everybody's name typed in. It's all I can yeah, do. Is- hold on. Hold on. <laughs> um, okay. Brett, let's see. Brett, have you bought a class from us before? There's so many people. I can't. I think I usually mo- most of the people. If you've bought a class from us, Brett Davis, give me a thumbs up or say yes, I have. Let me know, and um, I'll, I can just add the class to your your deal. He's probably so taking Marissa's class. Yeah. Yes, he does. Okay. So <laughs> take a hit. So he's taking a class. We're good. Brandon has. Uh, and Brandon, okay, all these have already taken classes for us. All right, so it looks like Matt Overson is going to ask a question, and this is going to be for Matt Overson's class. Now, look, if you have taken Matt Overson's class, do not answer the question because we don't have another one to give. So let somebody else have it. Matt, ask away, buddy. How many wins did Terry Rowan have in uh, 2018 when he won the world championship? Regular season. Uh, regular season. Regular season wins. How many wins did Terry Roan have? The Google box is going nuts right now. Yeah. Terry? <laughs> All of them. Terry, don't, it, when you see the answer come across, don't say what it was, but let me know if the correct answer has been, been said. I think I remember, but I don't want to. I could be off by one. You got locked on the coupon code. We can't see answers anymore. <laughs> yeah. I can't see anything. Oh, What's I can going see on? Matt, Terry, have you seen the correct answer yet, sir? I'm going to scroll back up. If you no, say yes, locked. mine's locked. This is your <clears throat> phone. Hey, did uh, did the Brian get it right already? The bus? I don't know. I don't. I don't. I can't remember. Go over to private chat. I, Go over to the private chat at the top and yeah, the answer in. Not the answer end at the bottom, gentlemen. Did yeah, I'll say there that. Is, is that right, Terry? I just sent it to you, Mike. I can't see. It's locked on coupon code. Yes, coupon okay, code. I got it. Coupon. Oh, okay. Well, let me take the coupon code out. All right, so I got Terry's message. He told me how many he won. Now, this is regular season, correct, Terry? That's correct. Okay, so here we go. And I've already seen this answer. The correct answer is eight. Blake, so the, Blake Lynn Weber. Blake Lynn Weber won it. Blake Lynn Weber. Blake, please tell me you didn't have you don't have Matt's class. <laughs> Blake L E I N N E. W E B E R. All right, he's going to get Matt Overson. Okay. He, he doesn't have it. He doesn't have. And Blake, have you bought classes from us before? I'm pretty sure he has. Give me a thumbs up if you have, because that way I can add it to your. I can add it to it. <clears throat> Let me know, Blake, if you have if you bought classes. I'm pretty sure he has. Yes, sir. Okay, good. I've got everybody's information. That was a lot of fun. I hope everybody's enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was eight and the world championship was nine. That's right. It was eight. He won Mike, eight the world championship Mike, was nine. Mike, yep. There, if you look back, Cody Allen Barr had the answer of eight before Blake did. Did he really? Oh, yes. crap. Mm. Uh, no. 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 Wait a minute. Gordon? All right, the first person. No, no, it's Stephanie West. Several did. All right, so the first person that I'm seeing on my screen is Blake, Zach, Paul, and Stephanie. Is that what you see? That's right. It is. I apologize. Okay. Okay. Blake, and then Zach, and then Paul, and then Stephanie. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Very good. All right. We're good. All right, we've got it all. Everybody gets Matt's class. Give it all, everyone.
Compliments. I'll tell you, uh, I tell you what, you Joey. Go. Joey, I'll donate a steak and carne asada class for your live auction. Well, I appreciate it, sir. Man, we'll there we go. We we'll would definitely accept that for sure. It's uh, okay. going to be great. We'll definitely so, raise some money. I know that. All for right. Sure. So you we bet. got a Terry Roan class and we got a John Lindsay class that you're going to be able to auction off. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, Thank you. I, let me see if I got one more. We may give one more backyard barbecue class away. Hold on. Let me see if I got another one. All right. Let me see what we got here. Oh, you uh, look at this. Uh, I want everyone to realize what we're doing here. This is a one, two, three, four, five, an eight-time world championship podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for yeah. sure. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Which two of them? Which state? We've been trying for three years to get everybody on here one time. Can you imagine if we had Mark on here that we could really add that, just double that number with one no. brother? <laughs> yeah. The wording edge wise. Yes, exactly. <laughs> All right. Hey, is it too much if I do a half off class? A half off class? Yeah. Yeah, for I can do a trivia question. I want to play a game. Guess play. what? You you can get in the game, and I'll pay for your other half. We're not doing no halfies here, brother. We're going to <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what Mike thinks. I'll do a hundred percent if Mike will let me. I have to get in the game somehow. Well, all right. It, you it, want it's it, your call. It's, it's your class. You want to give one class away? Will you let me do it? I'll let you Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Two thousand twenty-one. Right. I did a KCBS tour out of. For all four meats, how many first place brisket, ribs, pork butt, and what was my chicken overall? How many first Good. and all four meats? Good so Lord. tell me my rankings in pork butt, brisket, ribs, and chicken last year. Well, hell, ain't nobody going to figure that one out. <laughs> you better, you <laughs> no, better be on barbecue. Hey, my battery's running low. We ain't gonna that's a seven hundred dollar question. They, that's, they a that that's a seven hundred. That's a seven hundred dollar question. Give, uh, you better give a hundred percent of the class away for. Yeah, I'll give a hundred percent. Free class. He's, he's giving the class away. You'll get it. All these classes you'll get for one month. So, now I don't go to know barbecue. That. Go to go to barbecue dad, and you'll find out. Oh gosh, why don't we just pick one? Well. So you want to know your rankings in brisket, ribs, pork butt, and chicken? Yep, last year. Last year. What was Lee's ranking in brisket, ribs, pork butt, and chicken? Yep. You can go to the next question, but let's see if they get it. All right. <laughs> well, you're going to have to dig for this. It's a $700 question, so. And please right. don't don't post them one at a time because I'll never find your answers. So, Nakia White, right. fourth brisket, second pork, finally learned how to cook a chicken, 15th. So, Nakia's got fourth brisket, second pork, finally learned how to cook a chicken, 15th. Uh, no, all of them. It's not right. No, not right. Barbecue data. Third brisket, second pork, second rib, 13 chicken. Brisket third. was not third. You're terrible, Lee. Hey, <laughs> Joey, it's $700, man. Hey, why not? I got to go fill my cup up again. I'll be back. All right. Well, go ahead. Go on I'm to glad the next I just question. got filled up. <laughs> Let me drink uh, my Red Bull. Bring there your son go. over. He was great entertainment earlier. Bring him in, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're still looking for a winner. How did Lee finish in last year in the KCBS? Where did he finish? Brisket, rib, pork, butt, and chicken. Uh-oh. Right. Second, second brisket, second rib, second pork, and 13th? I don't think that's no. right. No. It's not right. Nope. All right. No, still ain't got it. All right, well, Caitlin, y'all need to put it all in one. I cannot, cannot, cannot go back. <laughs> Darren, second, 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 15th. I don't think that's right. Paul Brown, second rib, seventh brisket, third pork, fifth chicken. For 2021 cooking season, KCBS, my overall for the end of year. End of the year, overall standings. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to play a game. Okay. Yeah, you're making it hard. All right, here's a KCBS. KCBS. 
Overall finish. <laughs> here's here's a fourth brisket, third rib, fourth chicken, third pork. That ain't right. Uh, overall each meat. Second rib, second pork, thirteenth chicken, fifth brisket. Repeat it again. Second rib, second pork, thirteenth no. chicken. Nope. Okay. Unless I'm wrong on my KCBS barbecue data. Hey, I got a question. Am I still paying for half of this still show you're doing right now? No. No, no. He's, no. he's, he's, he's going to give it away. Go it's come free. Up with a better question. <laughs> All right. Well, so how about I just give out the, the rankings, then you figure out what meat goes where. No, that ain't going to work. They're still trying good. to dig it up. Third rib, fourth chicken, third third rib fourth chicken nope that ain't it <laughs> there's a third fifth third and ninth i don't think no. that's it either they're so close though i've been drinking way too much for this question i know lee is the best <laughs> oh my gosh 14th chicken yes fourth rib yes third, third pork Yes. Seventh brisket. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, congratulations. All right. So Bo Daniels answered that. Big Bo's ball, already baby. Bo the winner gets a hundred percent of the class. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And so Bo, Bo Daniels. I think he can get chicken. some free B and B charcoal on top of that too. <laughs> That's it. That's it right here. Oh goodness gracious. Bo Daniels got it. So that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I think I think that was the first one to get it. I'm gonna I'm gonna if somebody else that let's see. I can't see any comments, so I don't know who who got it. All right, fourth, fourth chicken, fifth, fourth. No. Fourteenth chicken. Yes. Fourth rib, third pork, yep. seventh brisket. Yep. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, that's got it. And that was Bo Daniels. Way to go, so. Bo. It's not bad for my first year doing KCBS. I don't. No, think. that was that was pretty good. That was awesome. Well, I tell you what, guys, it is it's been a great deal. We've given away we given away a lot of classes. I know that. So and that's that to me is pretty cool to be able to do that. I appreciate it. I hope everybody has a super happy fourth. Hey, we got a 15% off coupon. You can get happy fourth in your checkout coupon code. 15% off any classes. Man, we have had a great, great, great night tonight. Lots and lots and lots of people. Lee threw you a barn burner in there. We're trying to figure out how to get that right. So, but hey, he was giving away a $700 class. So what can we say? Uh, anyway, I really do appreciate everybody. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I'm going to give all these guys a chance to kind of close it out, give them a little bit of their final thoughts. And Matt, we'll start with you, brother. I just want to say thanks to everybody for buying a class and uh, supporting the Wicked Pig. And uh, hope there to see you on the trail. There you go. Marissa, you're up, baby. I um, just want to say thank you to Barbecue Champs and everyone that buys a class. It really supports all of us. So from me and everyone else, thank you very much. There you go. Terry, Mr. you're up, buddy. Yeah. Uh, Sentiment to the same. Thank you for anyone that has purchased any of the cook classes at Barbecue Champs and to help grow the food cooking sport and uh joey i hope you raise a lot of money for your for your cause down there to cook off and uh just glad to be um, a little part of it no awesome. thank you every little part is awesome and uh it's what keeps us going up and down the road we have to have those funds to do it That's yeah it. john you're up brother uh, you're, you're muted, John. Unmute yourself. Hey, Robbie, if you would, mute yourself. John's trying to get his... We'll skip John for right... There I am, come back. Come back, John. We'll come back to you. Lee, you're up, brother. Yeah, happy anniversary, Mike. Mike, thank you for this great idea for putting on Barbecue Chance Academy. We appreciate all the trust that the uh, the customers have given, you know, the trust to us and letting them uh, learn and see what we do every day at cook-offs um appreciate everybody you know in barbecue champs academy all the alumni all these great wonderful cooks so just appreciate everybody and thank you mike for doing barbecue champs academy thank you man i appreciate it david 
I just want to say, everybody, go out and hug your parents, hug your spouse, hug your kids. Um, life is is grand. I appreciate every one of you guys that um, support Barbecue Champs Academy. And last, don't forget to talk to Robbie here. Again. I will. I promise you, I will not forget <laughs> that guy. That guy over there. <laughs> All right, Joey, you're up, brother. Uh, happy anniversary, Mike. This has been a uh, blessing for me to be in barbecue with all of you guys and the ones that we're missing. And our barbecue world is a blessing to what we get to do in this great world. Uh, we're so blessed to continue this. And I know it's tough for everybody, but uh, things are going to get to normal soon. Just uh, remember to stick with your family and God. And if you do those two things, everything's going to bypass and you're going to be blessed and everything's going to fall into place for you. Love you guys. Very well said, brother. Very well said. Robbie, you're up, brother. (laughs) I I did not forget him. (laughs) Um, uh, Just thank you to everybody that's bought my classes, anybody else's classes. Mike Steele does an amazing job promoting this, uh, this business. Um, uh, He, he should be very proud, I think, and uh, bravo to him. Um, you know, remember God, he, he's running this country for us. Um, he, we need to stand by him and get it back to where we once were. Our troops, our first responders, thank you very much, and uh, God bless everybody here. Yeah, thank, thank you, Robbie. You. Thank you, Robbie. All right, John, let's see if you're working now, brother. Can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Okay, <laughs> you on the bottom now, John. I'm on yeah, top. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, number one. It's a it's a huge honor to be on on the show tonight, Mike. For you, but also with with my barbecue heroes and and steak cooking heroes, they're all over this this uh, page here tonight. And thank you for all that you do. Um, want to thank my sponsors, if that's okay, just real quick. I couldn't be cooking right now if it wasn't for uh, Papa's Grilling Products. They have supported me better than anybody that could ever ask for. Um, Townsend Spice and Supply, Hasty Bake, Camp Chef, uh, all those folks have just done an outstanding job. Barbecue Champs Academy and Bama Q TV. Mike Smith and Bama Q have given us a platform, and we appreciate it. And also – always want to mention Ronald Burns. Uh, I wouldn't be anywhere where I'm at with our seasoning business or anything else if it hadn't been just a good partner like Ronald Burns and our Team Arkansas family. And uh, thank you for everybody that's bought a class. We sure do appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. And, um, you know, it's it's a pretty humbling experience of what, what's happened over the last three years. Um, I can't I can't thank you guys enough for I can't thank you guys enough for helping me make this dream come true. Um, I really wanted to help see barbecue and and state grow. Um, and it's, it's never, you know, people like when are you going to do a class? When are you gonna, it's not about me. Uh, it it's about it's about putting the people that that have won major accomplishments in barbecue and state to the forefront and, and put it in on one platform where people can, can come together and, um, and take a class in the private of their home. They can go back and watch and rewatch and learn. And, um, the reward and the gratification that I get out of it is when I see the people that have taken classes excel and do so well. And, um, you just don't know how it makes me feel. I mean, I, I don't, I sure don't want to get emotional about it, but I, there's been times that I've, I've had people contact me, talk to me. And, um, to me, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a humbling experience to be part of, have a part in each of you guys lives, uh, has just been gratifying and rewarding. Uh, our customer base that we have has just been phenomenal. And, um, you know, to me, that is that's what Barbecue Champs was all about, and I think we've done an amazing job helping to grow all this stuff and to do all this. And I, I could not have done it without uh, all of y'all. So, um, and and also to all our 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 alumni, everybody that's bought a class from us. Um, I, I, from the bottom of my heart, I have said it a 
thousand times yeah. over. I'll say it another thousand times. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the support that you have given us and showed us and uh, in, in supporting our classes and helping us. We've got a lot of things that we're just going to try to continue to do. We're going to continue to, to do updates and bring this to you. That was kind of a vision that I had at the beginning of the year when I talked to Lee. And I was like, man, would you be willing to come back and do an update? And he did. And classes just started selling like crazy. So uh, I appreciate it. And I, I really want to thank everybody that's taken our class. Uh, I want to thank all of you guys as well from the bottom of my heart for what you've done to be able to help this dream come true. So thank you so much. We've got some uh, other great guys. Is David Wilhelm still on here? With Wilhelm, uh, he wanted to speak or something at the end, but I tell you what, he's another great supporter. Barbecue Champs, yeah. Texas Chrome Heroes Foundation. David, shout out to you if you're still on. You have uh, been with us from the start. We met at the Rural, and uh, he's been with you for how long, Mike? Almost yeah, for, three years? From the very beginning, David has been with us. And, you know, I, I really – I couldn't do with what I do without the support of these guys right here. Danny Helm at Be Extreme Barbecue. Yes. Thank you so much for your support and everything that you do for us. Prairie Fresh Ribs, thank you for the support that you give us as well. Do we all Lone Star, have to? Yeah, Lone Star Barbecue Pro Shop. Uh, Brian Crawford, you've got an awesome product yourself. Um, Wild Bill, Texas Select Seasoning. Uh, I talked to him today. Uh, we're going to try to have all of these guys on our show at one time. We're going to do a manufacturer midway is what I want to call it. So thank you so much for your support. David at Gunner Wilhelm Knives, thank you. We're going to give him a platform. He's just been recognized, got a big write-up in a magazine. The barbecue store, Dustin Stanley, does so much to help all these cookers get their rubs and stuff they need. He's helped Joey so much to get the Chrome Hero Foundation, the six-pack barbecue Seriously. deal that he did john Lindsay all queued up steak shape uh, or all queued up with all his stuff that he has and uh thank you for the support and then daigle's barbecue miss gail uh gail thank you so much for everything that you have done so we we could not do what we do without them there's a lot of working components there's a lot of things that go on behind the scene and um you know I just really want to thank everybody. And this has just truly been a great night to have this much barbecue and steak royalty in it at one time. It's probably never happened before. And uh, be looking for it to happen again soon. We'll try to get the other ones that couldn't make it. We may try to do this again. Um, it's Robbie's over here taking a picture of it. Yeah, this is a photo op right here. So I might need to do that myself. Let me do that, Bobby. Thank you, Robbie. That's a good one. How many times do you get to see this many people on at one time? So... But, uh, yeah, we really do appreciate it, and we've got more classes coming. Uh, we're looking to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, things are tough out there. I understand that, but we still need your support. We need you giving us shout-outs. We need you uh, giving us page mentions. It helps us tremendously, especially during these difficult times. So from the bottom of my heart, for all of you that do that, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope everybody has an absolute blessed weekend with the 4th of July. Be Remember safe what we're, out there. Yeah, be re, just be mindful of what we're celebrating. We live in a great country. It, it seems maybe sometimes it may not be going the direction that we all want, but, you know, with, the, with our love for one another and uh, for the love of God and uh, putting him first in our lives, um, he'll take care of us. And um, I just want to thank everybody. Y'all go out there and have a safe and happy 4th of July. And as we always close out these classes, y'all go out there, have a lot of fun.